In this video, we will learn how we can easily get user input in Python instead of hard coding the values. Okay, just like Java, C, C++ and C, Python also supports the concept of user input. Okay, so let's see. For getting user input, we have a built-in method that is the input method. That is the input method is used to get input from the user. Let's see an example. Herein we have our PyCharm ID. Let us create a new project, go to file, go to file, new project. Herein let us add a name, Python user input and click on create. After clicking create, you can see the following is visible. Now let us right click and create a new program, new Python file. Let me name it demo and I'll press enter. It will convert to demo.py. Now we will see a simple example to display student records. And we'll be getting these student records through user input. How? Let's see. So we have printed this. Now at first I'll be printing the student name. For that I have taken a demo variable s name and I'll directly use the input method. So this text will be visible to the user. Enter student name. Okay. So this will be directly visible to the user. Now I'll just print s name. That's it. Herein we can herein we can easily write student name. Okay. This is fine. Now directly we will add address. Okay, I'll just change it to address and change the name to let's say S A D D R. We could have also added like this S name, S underscore name. Let's keep this for an example. Okay, S A S A D D R is our student address. Okay, for a demo records. So we have added this also. Now let us add student grades. Let us change it to S grade and I'll show it here. Great, that's it. Now we have three records. You can see we'll be adding records from user student name, student address and student grade. Let's see what will happen. Right click and run demo on PyCharm ID. Here it is. It is asking for student name. I'll add Amit. I'll press enter and it will display student name Amit. After that, it directly asked me student address. So let's say I'll add Delhi. After that, it is asking me grade. I'll type A and I'll press enter. Here it is. Grade is now visible. In this way, you can easily get user input. So guys, in this video, we saw we can easily get user input using the input method. Thank you for watching the video.